Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm bringing some of my tropicals indoors. I thought we'd have a look at some of them. I haven't seen them all summer. They've been tucked away behind each other. This is my ice cream bean. Um, Inga, I think this one's Inga Fee. It, it was supposed to be this, but apparently windy, but from the leaves ring, it doesn't appear to be. Um, I think I cut the plant back quite hard in the spring because it got very tall and out of hand and the leaves have been very yellowy since then as well i think partly because we've had a cold summer and partly because it was tucked away at the back but i think partly it needs um, it needs to be repotted and have fresh compost these are nitrogen fixers and will get nitrogen out of the air but that doesn't mean they don't suffer from a lack of other nutrients uh, in the compost so i think the reason this is so pale and hasn't grown much this year, whereas last year it grew an awful lot. I think the reason it, it hasn't grown is because of the lack of nutrients in that pot. But I'm not gonna repot it at this time of the year because every time I've repotted a tropical at the start of winter, it's died over winter. They just don't like the shock followed by the dry atmosphere and the low daylight hour. So the best thing to do I've found is to try and nurse them out over the winter and then replant them in the spring and then hopefully they take off. And I'm hoping that next year, if this survives the winter, because it's very prone to getting mealy bugs inside, um, if this survives the winter, I'm hoping that obviously it's going to um, take, take off next year and grow a little bit bushier. You can see what the wind's like at the moment. Um, I might have to cut it back again because what I really need to do is develop um, a more of a bushy plant rather than a tree because obviously it has to come into my kitchen each year which means a maximum height of about seven feet is, um, is about all I can cope with for it. But it, it's looking reasonably healthy apart from the fact that it's very pasty. So um, perhaps with the warmth of the kitchen over winter it'll darken up a bit and we'll um, end up with a bit of plant for it next spring when it's repotted. So that's my ice cream bean. It was bought as Inga a do list, but all the experts say from the leaves that it's fee. But it really doesn't make any difference. Uh, an ice cream bean is an ice cream bean in this country. This would be very hard to come by anyway. Nearly impossible now. So thanks for watching the video. Much appreciate it. And please give me a thumbs up. You can share it with anyone you think might be interested in this plant or what I'm growing. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as yet and uh, obviously ask any questions you wish and I'll try and answer them and click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos as they come out. Catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.